Hey guys, welcome to this week's Money Market Update. Well, after so many weeks of declines in US markets and global markets, in fact, we had a really bullish week with the Dow Jones up 5%, the S&P 500 up 6%, and the NASDAQ, tech-heavy NASDAQ, up 7%. So why the change in sentiment? Have we found a bottom? Will the market continue to rally from here? Well, it really is anyone's guess, but there are a few things right now that are happening that are conspiring for a bit of a sentiment shift in the short to medium term anyway. And I'll get to what I think is gonna drive markets in the next three to six months in a moment. But just in the past week, we've had a couple of things happen. Number one, we've seen the significant sell-off in cryptocurrency markets just settle down. Not that crypto is gonna have any sort of major impact on equity markets, but there's a huge amount of retail investors that had money in crypto, some of them taking that money out, so we saw a little bit of volatility around that. But really the major drivers of the positive sentiment this week has been the fact that oil prices have come down quite sharply, and we've all seen commodity prices come down, and there's just been a few economic data numbers around and a few sentiment surveys, etc., that are pointing towards the fact that inflation might be starting to subside. And what the market started to focus on late in the week was the fact that the US Fed may not be in a position to continue to raise interest rates in the last few months of the year, just simply because the economy is probably likely going to be so weak. So traders took that as a positive, but as I said a moment ago, the last few months of the year are going to be important. What I think is going to be the focus is not so much inflation. Everybody knows inflation is high. We're going to see two things going to be the key focus in the last half of the year in my view. Number one, how deep is the recession going to be? The US is likely going to have some form of recession. And how is it going to impact company earnings? Now there's been a massive revaluation of company earnings this year already, or I really should say massive revaluation of share prices, not so much company earnings. Company earnings, in fact, the expectation of company earnings has not really come down much at all. It's still staying relatively high. So analysts and economists are expecting a lot of these companies to produce really good earnings in the last six months of the year. The question will be, will the earnings stack up to the current share prices? or will companies come out? We're gonna start our second quarter company earnings season on the 11th of July. We're gonna start off with the banks and then we're gonna roll into the tech sector, the retail sector, and that's gonna take about four to six weeks. It's gonna be very important for financial markets. So in the very short to medium term, it makes sense to me that we're seeing a rally. The market was very heavily oversold, market got excited, commodity prices coming down, oil prices coming off the boil, so much sentiment changes, traders start to buy some of these really cheap companies right now um, to get involved back in the market, put some money to work. Whether or not we've seen a bottom, that is all gonna be dependent on whether traders have a change in sentiment on the recession and how deep that might be, and company earnings that are gonna start to come out over the course of the next six weeks. So we've probably got about you know, 10 days, 10 trading days until we're gonna to start to see those company earnings. So I think the market potentially could rally and can, this, this rally we've seen last week could continue for the next week or two. Then we could see sentiment shift bearish again. So there's gonna be plenty of volatility happening ahead. The Fed's gonna to continue to raise rates. The RBA is gonna to continue to raise rates as is the Bank of England, the European Central Bank and other central banks around the world and what is, what is gonna happen in the last six months, I think in the last month or two of the year, maybe November, December, potentially could happen late October, I think the market is going to see a Christmas rally, generally speaking because the Fed will have likely stopped this interest rate cycle higher in 2022 by maybe October, November, Money managers are gonna to wanna to put a lot of money back to work to try and get indexes as high as they can before Christmas. I think consumers are richer than ever. The US is gonna have an economic slowdown. It's likely having a mild recession right now. I don't think it's gonna be really deep. Therefore, at some point when the Fed stops putting rates up by three quarters and half a percent, maybe goes back to a quarter percent or not at all, 
that's when markets are gonna get excited. But there are plenty of businesses around still that are trading at really significant discounts. So don't miss that opportunity. I trust you have a great weekend. All the very best, look after your risk management. I'll see you next week.